Picture this, Paul. Okay. You're I'm on picturing. a family vacation okay. and you meet another lovely family and become friends. Okay. Sounds normal. Sounds right? good. Yeah. They invite you back to their home and then you quickly find out your new friends are dangerous uh -oh. strangers. Oh, well, that's the premise of the new film Speak No Evil. Justin Calderon got to uh, check out and speak with one of its stars. All right, Justin, did this film, did it leave you speechless? Oh, Paul, I am at a loss uh, for words for this film, but we, we spoke with an actress who found some, Mackenzie Davis, who was able to describe how a family's dream vacation turned into a living nightmare. Let's take a look. Please, I need to get out of here now. Please, what are you doing? Everything okay in there? Yeah, we're all good. Anything we can get you? No, 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 we'll just be a minute. We can't let on. Yeah, we can't look stressed or scared. We just have to go out there and be completely normal. Well, that was a look at Speak No Evil, the new horror film from Blumhouse. And right now I'm chatting with one of the stars of the film, the lovely and talented Miss Mackenzie Davis. Miss Davis, good morning and thanks for being with us in San Antonio. Good morning, thanks for having me. Mackenzie, I just checked out the film and it was, wow, it was terrifying, tense and intense. What was it like making this film? Y'all shot in the English countryside, which looked historic and also kind of creepy. Were y'all as isolated as it seemed? Um, no, I mean, we, we were on that farm that we shot on and it, it was great because that house has so much personality and the, the architecture kind of feels like you're in a prison yard, like you're wow. sort of caged in by the architecture of the house. Um, so it really became a character in the movie and, uh, and was great to, to sort of really get that into our bones while we were making it. And you play this character, Louise, a wife and a mother whose vacation quickly turns bad. Your role seems to shift from being very passive at the very beginning to later taking charge in key moments. What was that like for you to kind of show and have some range like that? Uh, it was great. I mean, I think, I think her passivity in the beginning is a bit of a fake passivity. Like, she's just trying to be casual and cool, but that's not her nature. She really would like to take charge, and she does by the end. You flipped out and tried to leave without saying goodbye. And he star alongside James McAvoy, who plays the sadistic Patty. How was it like working along with him? And how do you think he puts himself in a mindset for like all these roles that he does like this? I don't know. I mean, he's just such a good actor because he couldn't have like um, a less malevolent personality. <laughs> um, I know that is just being an actor, but he just doesn't have a, a darkness to him. He's so kind and easy and, and gentle and funny. And um, yeah, he's just really, really good at what he does, and um, and it was like such a joy to work with him. No! What is wrong with you? And the horror of, and this film comes from a place where we can all kind of relate to at one point or another. What do you think makes this film so different from a lot of other horror movies out there? Um, I, I'd say the sort of it's less of a jump scare, sort of that kind of a horror movie, and it's more sort of a, a low, slow, sustained um, discomfort that makes you want to crawl out of your skin. And um, and yeah, you, I think it, it feels really realistic. I know James Watkins, the writer and the director, really wanted to avoid anything that marked it as a horror movie. He almost wanted to play it like a relationship drama that then accidentally becomes this other thing. Um, and I, I think he really succeeded in doing it. Also, it's really funny. Like, I was at a screening last night and um, was just shocked at how uproarious the laughter was. <laughs> and Mackenzie, I have to ask you, like, what's the worst vacation that you've been on? Oh, God. Um, I've stayed in some pretty disgusting motels that, um, you know, with unclean sheets. That's a theme in the movie. Um, I've stayed in some pretty, pretty disgusting motels driving across um, America so but you know that's still fun I don't know I don't know if I've been on like a horrible vacation honestly <laughs> and Mackenzie it last uh, if lastly can you tell the folks why they should check out speak no evil uh, you should check out speak no evil because it's really fun to see scary movies in theaters with people because you get to scream at the screen and that's like when else can you do that <laughs> awesome and thanks again Mackenzie for your time the film again is speak no evil thank you I need you to be brave You guys have been... Just a breath of fresh air. <laughs> oh, well, that is very sweet of you to say. She was such a gem. Speak No Evil is now in theaters. And Roma and Paul, what do you think? And have y'all ever been on any weird vacations and met some strangers that were kind of <sighs> off? You, you know, I've met some strangers, but none that I've taken to my hotel room, so yeah. I... <laughs> 
Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> I've met strangers. Actually, I make friends everywhere I go, to be honest, because I talk too much. Yeah. So, Justin, thankfully, no creepiness here. Hey, by, by the way, Justin, I've got a house in the hill country. Hey, you and your girlfriend. What, oh, my. You want to come and, <laughs> and check, hey, we'll come Maybe a rain check, Paul. Maybe a rain <laughs> check, sir. All right, okay. Justin. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, Justin. Coming up, if you're looking for...